Imagine a world where it's possible to replace a badly damaged bone with biocompatible and biodegradable materials. Imagine that a damaged bone could regenerate into the shape of a carefully defined mold. This prosthesis could then naturally dissolve into the body with no ill effects and make way for the new bone. Today, Professor Jan Anders Manson and his teams are working to make this new technique possible for everyone in the near future. <laughs> When we say composite, we normally think about carbon fiber, we think about advanced application that is used in aerospace, it can be used in our sport equipment, can be used in automotive, in some of our electronic gadgets we have. And it's an enormous amount of knowledge built up in this field over the years. Can we imagine taking this knowledge and merging it with the knowledge in life science and bi biology. There is tremendous opportunity. We know with our aging population, the needs for replacement of body parts gets more and more important. And this is the type of work we'd like to emphasize here. For example, in a bone, it's very important to have porosity. It will give the lightness as well as the stiffness that we need. So this porous structure can be obtained by using a polymer, for example, that we melt into a pressure vessels. After a certain time, the gas will create small bubbles inside of the material. Once we release this pressure, the gas will leave the polymer. You can see this process as when you open the bud of a sparkling water. And with this, we can create different porosity uh, structures for different bone applications. In another uh, tissues. We're already capable of imitating the structure of bones and will soon be able to efficiently replace damaged cartilage. The structure is much more complex than in bone. Here the cartilage is like a composite with fibers in different orientation to be able to sustain friction and to absorb energy during shock. So this structure can be mimicked or can be created by using for example 3D printing where fibers can be really placed in different direction for getting the final functions and properties. This is a 3D printer, a machine who is able to create complex structures as the one that we observe in nature. This leads to the creation of such structures. This that I have in my hands is a model of the cartilage that will be implanted in the body. The porosity generated will allow as well to infiltrate hydrogels and cells for having a bioactive uh, material in a way that we can recreate a material that has similar properties as the native uh, cartilage. Thanks to the research of Professor Manson's team, biodegradable prosthetics will allow for the regeneration of bones or for copying the incredibly complex structure of cartilage in order to fight back against osteoporosis and arthritis. Uh -huh.